See, I've been developing, well, writing code anyway, since 1994, and I'm 269 years old, so I have a little bit of perspective to offer. In my early 20s, before I was even coding, I had my first business. I started my first business when I was about 18 years old. And um, throughout my 20s, between my business and between coding, I became hyper-focused. That's all I did. It was I was a workaholic. I would work seven days a week, pushing them through, and there was some success with that. But the success came at a serious cost. At the end of that cycle, where I uh, basically sold out of my first business, at the end of that cycle, I was literally burnt out mentally and physically because I did not approach building business and building my skill sets in a balanced way. I was just too hyper-focused. I ignored downtime. As I've explained in other videos, it's very important that you give your body and your mind and your emotions a rest. Just like a professional athlete, when they're handled properly, they understand the value of the recuperation time, the downtime, the resting time, being as important as the actual training itself. When I was in college, I had the opportunity to train for a short period of time with a Canadian wrestling team. I wasn't a member, but I trained with them for about a year while at college. And one thing I learned from people who were first, second, well, second, third in the world in sambo and in freestyle wrestling, when they were on season, when they were in competition season, they reduced the amount of training, hardcore training that they did so that the body was rested when they actually entered into competition. When it was outside of competition, they would, in terms of the season, then they would do the heavy duty hardcore training to try to bring their ability to another level. The point is, is that they did have rest periods, downtime. It's very important that you give your mind and your psychology, your body, a period of time to rest. In addition to that, I was speaking with a former physiotherapist of mine who was the physiotherapist for the Alouettes for a decade. And she was saying the biggest mistake that people make is that they don't give themselves time to rest and they don't and they overtrain. They overtrain. Same thing with learning to code, same thing with building a business. Yes, you have to work hard, you have to be consistent, but you have to. You have to discipline yourself for downtime. You have to discipline yourself to get away from the desk, get away from the computer, get away from the telephone, and you got to do something that shuts you off of that so you give your brain time to recuperate. Go out with friends, have fun. You know, you can't do anything in excess. You can't have too much fun and not ever work on your coding or not ever work on your business, not ever work on your freelance career. But at the same time, you can't just do that because you're going to burn yourself out. If you're too focused on what you do and you don't balance your life, you're going to burn yourself out. And then when you're burnt out, it takes a long time to recover. A long time. Trust me. When I burnt myself out, it took me like a year before I felt like doing any work. It was really, really bad. Uh, fortunately, I was in a financial position where I could do that. But nonetheless, if I had a bit more of a balanced approach in terms of how I approached my business, how I approached everything I did, I, wouldn't, I would not have gotten burnt out. So for example, right now, it's Sunday morning. I love doing videos. It's my hobby as much as anything else. And I got, I got a ton of work to do. Like I literally have unlimited work. I could work full time. I could take tons of drugs, work full, stay up 24 seven, work full time for 10 years and I would not finish my work. Because as you build your business, as you build your skill sets, as you build your career, it spawns more things you can do, more opportunities, more business opportunities you can pursue, more job opportunities, more job opportunities or project opportunities. Oh boy. I'm just going to take, take a look, see who this is. Could be relatives. Anyhow, so if you push yourself too hard, don't give yourself rest, you're going to burn out. And then in the end, you're going to be far less productive than if you had balanced your life. One thing I tell people, 
especially when you're young, you want to develop certain habits. Saving habits, I just talked about that. Saving is a habit. It has to be second nature for you. It has to be something that you do without thought or effort so that it just happens. And then next thing you know, you're doing really well. Same thing with a balanced lifestyle. You want to make sure that you exercise on a regular basis. Doesn't have to be hardcore, super hard exercise. It should be mild exercise for most of us. But you've got to develop the habit of going to the gym or biking or walking. Whatever it is you have to do, you have to do that. Same thing with proper diet and eating. you got to develop these habits so it becomes second nature to you. You don't want to burn out. So for example, I could stay here all day, work on videos, work on a lot of tons of studio web stuff i got to do. But no, I'm once I'm finished recording this video, I'm off to the gym. I'm going to go to the gym. It's more of a country club gym, really. I do my workout, uh, get in shape, uh, do the steam room, relax, have a coffee, enjoy the Sunday afternoon. Because if I do that, when I come back and I'm to uh, do some new videos or work on uh, the studio web project, my brain will be rested, will be relaxed, and it will be just far more productive. So yes, very important that you uh, understand balance. This is a basic principle, but I actually learned from the Chinese. It's all Asian uh, cultures talk about that, the balance, you know, balance in life, balance of emotions, balance in what you do in your life. Because what will happen if you just go focused, you'll burn out. But also, you're going to be in a situation where if you just focus too much and you become a workaholic like I became, working seven days a week, etc., et you're going to wake up one day and then you're going to realize that uh, all these years have passed and you're going to feel there's going to be a gap there. If you don't take my advice and you uh, become a workaholic and you don't find balance in your lifestyle, giving your, yourself time to rest, to socialize, to exercise, to 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 uh, discharge, if you will, besides burning out, which will eventually happen, is you're going to find yourself in a position where you're going to wake up out of your workaholic lifestyle. It could be a year later, it could be 10 years later, who knows? And you're going to go, wow, what did I do? What did I do? Right? What did I do? That's what happened to me. Why am I creating this video? I'm giving you the benefit of my experience so you can make a proper decision. Catch it early. I caught it fairly early. I know some people, well, I've heard of people, friends of friends, acquaintance of acquaintances. Uh, they found themselves, I'll give you one story. A friend of mine was an investment counselor, managed people's money. And one of his clients owned a very, very big business, very profitable business. And the guy's in his late 60s at this point when he's talking to my buddy, and he said, you know, he goes, I'm in my late 60s. I work really hard. I have this very big business. I got all kinds of money. But he goes, I'm 60-something years old. I forget what it was, 65. We'll say he was 65. He says, I'm 65, and I didn't have a life. I didn't have a life. And so there you go. <laughs> Learn from that old guy. All the money in the world. But he looks back, and he goes, Oof, what did I do? What did I do? Uh, so balance, remember that, balance. So if you're learning how to code or you're building your business and you're, it's like a grind, the way you solve the grind is not the grind harder. The way to solve the grind is to take breaks and be systematic, balanced in your approach, and you're going to be much more productive in the end. I've talked about this in other videos. We know from psychology that there's uh, periods of time where we, we operate a very peak levels of effectiveness in terms of brain right execution in our bodies too right so i think it's for most people about three to four hours a day with some exceptions where you really perform well and then your performance drops quite a bit again it depends on circumstances etc 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 but try to keep these principles in mind and a good guiding uh, principle is to Feel what your body feels. You know, if you're starting to get sore back sitting in a chair, that means you got to get exercise. If you're starting to get headaches or while coding and the problems are not coming to you, that means you got to step away. Anyway, I hope you find this useful. I got to hit the gym. Bye bye. One last thing 
I met somebody a couple days ago in a Japanese restaurant right up here in Montreal. Uh, a shout out to you. And uh, yeah, anybody else, I get approached, I'm getting approached more and more often. If you see me and you want to say hi, that's cool. That's uh, no problemo. I'm happy to uh, say hello. So uh, that's it. Okay, I'm off to the gym. Bye-bye.